All right, so another example here of finding missing angles. So we're going to use the law of sines to find the measure of angle alpha to the nearest degree. And we're not going to use the law of sines to find the angle alpha directly. What we're first going to do is actually find the angle uh, beta, or B here. We're going to find the measure of that angle. And again, then we'll just use the fact that they all add up to 180. So uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do is figure out, uh, our again, our angle B here. So we can say, say sine of angle B over 4.1. That's going to equal, well, sine of 25 degrees over 3.8. And to solve for uh, B, the first thing I'll do is just multiply both sides by 4.1. So we'll get sine of B equals, okay, so let's see, we can start plugging this in a calculator. So we've got sine of 25 degrees. I'm getting sine of 25 degrees to be uh, 0.423 after rounding. So I'm going to multiply that by 4.1 and then divide by 3.8. So 0.423 times 4.1 let's try this one more time 0.423 times 4.1 okay then I'm going to divide that by 3.8 I'm getting this to be approximately uh, 0.456 so we've got sine of B equals 0.456 all I'm going to do at this case, at this point, uh, is just take uh, the inverse sine of both sides. So we'll get B equals inverse sine of 0.456. So let's see what that gives us here. I'm getting this to be roughly uh, 27.13 uh, degrees after rounding. Uh, since we're doing things to the nearest degree, I think I'm just going to round that off to 27 degrees. So our angle B here is going to be roughly equal to 27 degrees. Well, now again, we're really just interested in finding angle alpha. So 27 degrees plus 25 degrees plus uh, the measure of alpha. That's Now we're adding up all the angles. So that would simply have to add up to 180. Well, 27 and 25, that's going to give us 52 degrees plus alpha equals 180 degrees. We can simply subtract the 52 from both sides. That'll leave us with 128 degrees. So it looks like in this case our angle alpha is simply going to give us 100 and uh, we'll have a, a measure of 128 degrees. Um, you could always use the law of sines again, again to actually figure out that missing link, but in this case all we're interested in is just finding that angle alpha.